Hello and welcome everyone to IT Pro Guide. Mohammed Niaz with you today and today you're gonna see the second video of identity and access management as your active directory. In the first video I talked to you about what is the need of identity and access management and why Azure is important when it comes to identity access management. In this video we're gonna start our first demo how to create a tenant then following to that we can create active directory in Azure. For creating a tenant we need Azure subscription. I'm going to show this demonstration with Office 365 subscription. You can go for other subscription also like Active Directory different premiums or Enterprise Mobility and Security. Both offers Active Directory and an Active Directory basic is free as we discussed in the previous video. Once you have a subscription with Office 365 or other subscriptions then you create a tenant then following to that we need to verify our domain with Azure. So what is a tenant? A tenant is a new term for those who are new to Microsoft Azure Cloud. A tenant is a boundary or which represent your organization in Azure. So if you have any other subscription other than Active Directory like Office 365, Advanced Threat Management or uh, Win Azure Information Protection, Windows Information Protection, all this subscription you're going to add to this tenant. So tenant is a boundary of your organization. You can create users under tenant and you can assign permissions. Like what you do in your uh, on-premises, when you install an Active Directory, you have a forest, then you have users, computers, objects that you add to this local Active Directory, then you manage your identity access management. But that is limited to your on-premises. But in Azure AD, it is not limited to your on-premises. You can use the identity access management for cloud application also. It have no boundary when it comes to identity access management. So let's uh, move to the demonstration now. For this demonstration, I'm going to use Office 365 a free trial, which is available for one month. You have many other options, as I uh, told you in the beginning. Click the free trial button. Now just fill up the form. Then click next. Here you're going to create a user ID and this user ID is going to be your administrator account. And you can see I'm going to use there is a tenant which I mentioned before on Microsoft.com and that is what my tenant name and that should be unique so you need to find out something which relate to the company domain but it doesn't need to be exactly your domain so once you fill up just uh, choose one of the verification method and click create my account so you have two options you can have a text option or a call me option so choose one of it then complete the verification once you have the verification code click next save this information because we need it uh, later this account we're going to use as an administrator account for logging into azure tenant and office 365 subscriptions it will take a few minutes to complete the uh, tenant creation process now everything is ready we can go and see the portal now now the tenant has created let's go to the portal we can see an administrator icon go and select administrator icon that will direct you to admin portal the first step we're gonna do is to add our domain then verify that domain for that go to setup then click domain then select add domain enter your domain name you want to verify then click next so once you enter your domain you have two options to verify your domain that is either add these records manually into your DNS register or if you are using something like a GoDaddy then you can add it automatically from the Microsoft admin portal so if you want to add it manually then go to your uh, DNS register then add the MX record you can copy it from here copy the text value from verify domain page then go to your domain manager then add as a text record then save it it take few minutes like uh, one to five minutes to complete uh, the updation then you can click to verify the MX records that you have just entered the other option is to automatically verify with uh, DNS providers like GoDaddy. For that, select add domain, then enter your domain name. 
then click next then it automatically identified that the dns provider is godaddy so i can say just sign into godaddy and i can verify it like that that is more easier than adding the mx record manually so i just need to sign in to my godaddy account then i can just click authorize that verifies my domain here now the domain setup has completed click finish and close the window you can see two domain here tuitiontube.in and tuitiont that is our tenant name dot on microsoft.com so you may have a question why do i have a on microsoft.com domain office 365 creates a domain for you like uh, uh, your tenant name dot on microsoft.com when you sign up uh, any services with azure so if you want to have an email look like uh, a user at uh, your domain.com then once you set up your domain and completed the verification then you will get any email like username at uh, your domain.com but once you complete that setup it doesn't mean that you can rename on microsoft.com domain or you can uh, remove on microsoft.com domain no you cannot rename or remove on microsoft.com domain office 365 needs to keep it around because it is used behind the scene for your subscription thank you for watching this video for more videos subscribe my youtube channel